How you doing, Don? Hey, how's it and, going? And I know the voice because I've heard Bubba talking to you before. Uh, oh. On the phone. Yeah. Okay, okay. I recognize the voice right away. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, setting up the man, shaking the bacon, man, trying to get some artists out of the Midwest, you know, recognized, especially on our platform here in the DMV. You know, yes, sir. Trying to uh, uh, cultivate the culture uh, in the Midwest through uh, GR Entertainment. <laughs> hey, no, man, tell me, uh, you know, you know, I already know, but, you know, for the uh, people, what is GR Entertainment? Where did the name come from? Uh, first of all, uh, GR Entertainment comes from my two daughters. I have an oldest daughter by the name of Gianna, uh, second daughter by the name of Ariana. So I just took the first initials and their nicknames and came up with Giari. And it also stands for Godly Inspired Artistry Reaching Interstellar Levels. Mm. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. It's a Midwest thing. Man, so you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you you know, 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 Actually, it's been uh, a blessing coming to Iowa. Uh, I yeah, 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 yeah. You never lied about that one, but it's more so that you know uh, Chicago's kind of saturated, and right here where I'm at in Iowa, there's a little more freedom, a little more opportunity for the artists in which that I want to bring on uh, on these different platforms, such as yours. Uh, like right now, uh, March 27th, we got a concert with Smokey the Bandit out in Milwaukee. And then, uh, you know, we do showcases wherever, you know, we can get a venue right now do it in regards to COVID. But, hey, we moving around. We're trying to make it happen. So you have to be real big in Iowa because you got to be one of the, what, seven black people that are there? <laughs> hey, you about, yeah, you... <laughs> Funny enough, yeah, we is like uh, ninety six percent white here. Yeah, oh yeah, we talk about that all the time, man. We tripping. It's funny. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, right now, quiet as kept. We actually don't have a big demographic uh, diversity with the um, culture here. So uh, that's something that I was looking to do, and hopefully, I'll be a part of that. I'm actually. And uh, negotiations to be a part of that. Iowa just opened up a arena that holds 5,000 people in Coralville. Hopefully, I'll be able to get involved where I have uh, be able to bring concerts and different events that would cater to the African-American demographic. Absolutely, Sam Cook. That's very cool. Yeah. You sound like Sam Cook. You're going to bring a change. Hey, well, hey, somebody got to do it. Right. Somebody right. gotta do it. Yeah, and you uh and you just down the street from what university? Iowa State, uh the Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes. Oh, that's where the other six black people are. Right. <laughs> 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 that's where the other six black people are. That's funny. But yeah, you about right, yeah, you about right. And uh just to let it be known, um recently uh we have a lady by the name of uh Candy Struthers DeVore. She uh she has a book called Faces of Rap Mothers, uh, that's on all major uh, platforms, uh, Barnes and Nobles. Uh, she also has a magazine coming out, in which I was uh, able to do the cover of her first magazine, which drops in February, and also part about two or three other pages in it. And then she has another book coming out called Faces of Rap Fathers, in which I have a story in. Uh, I'll be in the second book. So, yeah. Very cool. Very, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, what was that? I can hear you. I said next level is going to be in that as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then also, uh, you can also see footage of some of the showcases that I've uh, been a part of uh, in regards to promo, in regards to graphic design, because I also do the flyers for a lot of the uh, shows I do. Uh, you can see a lot of that footage on uh, MJ on Network under Stacks the Realist. 
Uh, she got a, a television network called uh, Recognize Stacks to Realist. Recognize Real with Stacks to Realist. And then you also got, uh, like again, Faces of Mother, uh, Faces of Rap Mothers on that that you also see footage on. And then we also on the Now Network. So and we try to make moves. We trying to connect the dots and do okay. something oh, big. Yeah. And speaking of connecting dots, let me just give you a little uh, backstory on how Don and I met. You know, we met through Nassim Sadiq. Hashtag, damn, Nassim. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Uh, Nassim. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you know, Nassim must, got much love, you know, here in the DMV area. Um, but, yeah, so Nassim reached out to me and said, hey, I want you to meet Don. So I gave Don a call, and we... We talk for hours, right? And we we talk like like we know each other for years. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it, it, it's a good relationship. And then so you know we formed a relationship with GR Man uh, GR Entertainment with Next Level Radio. And then, so we give out the packages to his showcases and Stack the Realist showcases uh, for artists to come here to display their uh, awards. Yeah, yep. And, and that's how you guys up. got third eye. That's right, we have third eye. Right, third eye to wrap. Don, can you can you do me a favor? You know, I really I feel not seeing and my wife really feels him. But could you find him a good manager? <laughs> All right, man, you you knock it on you you knock it on the doors right there. You got good bubble right there. Oh, you already know, see that? I already know, man. Hey, man, see, man, hey. Hey, don't got my back. You're like, I got it. You know, so, screw you, mofo. She shot, she shot, she shot. Hey, you don't want the lower side to come down, man, on you. Come on now. Now, do know, G.I. we trying to come to Washington and get it in with you guys, man. Yeah, we definitely want that. You know, we definitely want to mix the culture, you know, and uh, spread the love. Um, I got to get a taste of that go go. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you got my yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. The, that. Yeah, when you come down here, you'll see that is the culture here. That's yeah, what's man, up. It's, it, it's big. It's big here. Oh, what do you got coming in, Tony? Oh, oh, okay. I thought maybe we had some comments coming in. You know, yeah, we all got people calling in. And okay, okay. Stuff, um, but yeah, uh, so so what's your next steps, man? What you got going on? What's coming up besides the uh, uh, March? You got, well, let's talk about that. We got March, what is it, 20... 27th. March 27th, uh, we'll be in Milwaukee at Club Timbuktu. Uh, we'll be having uh, Smokey the Banner from Empty Shows Entertainment. He'll be uh, in concert, you know. Uh, it'll be hosted with uh, Stax Cerillas and myself. Uh, so that'll be, that's that's dope. Uh, then April 22nd, we got another showcase. Well, we have a showcase popping off in Milwaukee. And we're trying to get something set up here in Iowa. We're just waiting on what the COVID situation is going to allow us to do. Mm. Yeah. And then also, just to let you guys know, I also know uh, OG Dove Mac DPG, the original Dog Pound member, also Snoop Dogg's cousin. He's out there in ATL. So right, I'm right. also doing things with him as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's going big, man. It's real big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice. Man, that, you know what? Working with uh, OG, man, you know, uh, getting him up. You know, to Iowa for that showcase. Yeah, that, that was cool, man. Just the interaction and talking with them. You know, him and uh, um, Mayfield. Mayfield, yeah. Mayfield, um, Fifty Two Flavors. That's that his name, cool. which is also Curtis Mayfield's nephew, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yep. He sure is. He told me that. So you have all those for lack of a better term, white people in Iowa <laughs> feeling West Coast rap, huh? Well, you know, to be honest with you, they, 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 you gotta understand, we're in a college town, really, like a college yeah. state. Yeah. So, right. you got a lot of diversity of uh, uh, genre music. So, the most of the music here is being streamed. It's not like we got big radio stations like uh, Next Level here. 
you know, you know, doing their thing. But we can get next level here to help us out with it. Uh, so you got a lot of guys coming in from different towns, different states, which uh, kind of like culturizes the neighborhood, the, the the community. But there's nothing like I can't go to club hip hop over here or club R and B over there. I got to go to a club that got like five different genres of music playing and hopefully I catch my first 20 minutes, you know, so. Right, right. Well, hey, here's a, here's a little, uh, Smokey the Bandit. Get go. He just dropped that. Let's go, Smokey. Oh trying to call man man what you doing right 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 that's what it is hey i just said snoop dog a mess though hey you gotta hold tight i got don doyle on the phone there you go there you go he's like he's like okay brother that's the man daddy man so uh that was smoking the bandit and i definitely want to get in uh, one with Stax Realist, if y'all don't mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, let y'all guys know that uh, Stax Realist is a dope artist coming up out of Chicago, Milwaukee, Indiana area. Uh, I got the pleasure of being able to give her a few beats. And the, the songs that you guys are about to play, possibly Gas. Uh, if you playing a song called Gas, that would be the one featuring my man, Dottie G uh, Mac. Out of Gary, Indiana, uh, a beat that was provided by Giari Entertainment. Uh, and then uh, she also has another uh, song called I Said What I Said, which is also uh, another uh, track provided by Giari Entertainment. So check them out. Hey, John, can I ask you a question? It's yes, sir. You from Chicago. Say it again. What's your thoughts on the, the rapper from Black Ink uh, 4? My thoughts is. Everybody got an opportunity to eat. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't put no ill words on nobody. Okay. You know, um, my thing is uh, to be honest with you, we're too busy knocking each other down. We need to figure out what it is to help that brother out to get him where he needs to be, versus trying to figure out what's stopping him from what he's doing. You know. Yeah, that's a very good answer. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, starting, you know, uh, January 1st, 2021, Dom put out there, he was like, you know what, we're going to knock down all these negatives, we're going to talk down, you know, talking about each other, you know, you want to talk about me, you know, you got double fingers up, you know, bam, you know. Right. <laughs> you know, he called everybody out and said, you know what, if you don't want to with me, then uh, go yourself. You know? Right, right. 
<laughs> Pretty much. I mean, uh, it's it's hey, enough. Hey, for hey, 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 it's it's, it's enough out here for everybody to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Um, everybody got a position they play. Everybody got a lane they can get in. And I honestly believe that if we take the time to acknowledge what lane that we the most successful in and come together, we can work it out because we don't got to be crabs in a bucket. We can be, you know, men walking around with our heads up high, taking care of our families the way we're supposed to. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. So uh, I got a stat. The realest. What's it called? I've got the acronym here. I said what I said. Oh, said what I said. Let's take this out. Hey, just let y'all know, I still got the mic open, man, so we can talk to you for what? Man, I love that beat so far. Yep, it sure is. Yeah, you can find it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. It sure uh, is. Man. So, uh, so, Don, man, how can we find you, man? We're coming to the end of our extended hour. Uh, you know, I did this just for you, man. You know. I appreciate uh, it, man. I appreciate it. Love, yeah, love. Absolutely. I know you took the time, man, to get up. You were out behind us, you know. And uh, I, I told you, uh, what was it, 9 o'clock your time would have been 10 our time. But uh, we had some good guests on the show today, and you know I wanted to continue that with you. So, uh, so where can we find you? Where can the, uh, people find you and uh, your stable? All right, well, you can find me out here in Iowa. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, all under GR Entertainment. Then you also can find me Don Doyle on Facebook. 
And then, you, and then, and then you have a hard time figuring all that out. Give my man Bubba a call. He know how to get in contact with me. That's right, that's right. Yeah, man, just go to the FBI, man. He got the big old warrant signed out for him, man. America's most wanted. You know, you know. <laughs> man, I wish I had my setup up things right now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, but hey, uh, we're going to close out this show, man. Thank you, Don, for uh, coming on this morning. I appreciate uh, you guys for having me. Absolutely, man. So uh, we got a lot of things coming up with GR Entertainment, Next Level Radio, uh Definitely, definitely uh, go on to Facebook, Instagram, check out uh, GR Entertainment for the upcoming uh, show in March. What's the theme of that show? Smokey the Bandit. All about him. Oh, that's about it. It's all Smokey the Bandit. Okay. So we're going 